This is Ryan here at Random Reviews, and today we are going to be installing the Spectre F-150 air intake into a 2012 Ford F-150 with the 5.0 liter V8. So we're going to show a couple things in this video. First of all, how to actually put the kit together, because it does come with some little package of bolts here. Um, <clears throat> And uh, this area right here, which actually fits where the air filter is going to go into. Um, and there's your tube for your MAF sensor and your PCB valve we'll clip right here. <clears throat> A bunch of rubber elbows and some uh, brackets and things like that. And then you have your air filter itself from Spectre. So. Uh, this kit, as far as I know, I've installed two of these so far, and uh, it only comes with the red filter. Uh, you do have to buy a recharge kit from Spectre. Um, I want to say it's like 12 bucks, so that you can recharge this thing, which is basically clean it and re-oil it. it um, it's supposed to be done every 7,000 miles, um, but I'm sure you could let it go a couple thousand more. So I would just do it every couple oil changes, maybe once a year. All right, I'm going to show you guys a couple different things in here, putting it all together. Also, what the truck sounds like before, what it sounds like after, and then also the installation of it into the truck. So, um, here we go. Right, guys, so the way that you put together the filter box is you put these bolts in like this. Let me see if I can get it focused up here. I have one that's still loose up here. So I would suggest getting a small ratchet to help you out because you do have to hold the nut there. And then they actually give you a little Allen key that you can use for the inside um, the screw here. That screw right there. So I'm going to just tighten that up and finish it all up. Then you need to install this rubber gasket here. It has a lip on the inside and that needs to go all the way around this top edge all the way around here so some of these uh, some of these corners can be a little tough just go ahead and bend it around there and then just fit it in make sure it snaps in nice and tight um, and then that's going to be your seal your hood of your truck is actually going to be going down onto that sealing that all in so there's actually no lid to this unit so all right I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go out to the truck all right guys, so we're in the 2012 Ford F-150 with the five liter V8. And I wanna show you what this sounds like. We do have the windows open. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like before we put the intake in. This is just with the stock intake. All right, and we'll roll the windows up. I'll show you what it sounds like with the windows up here. Hold on one sec. Okay, so nothing to write home about. And that is going to change, I can guarantee you. This is the inside of the 2012 Ford F-150. This is the air filter and the housing. You go all the way down here, and that is where you're going to be connecting to um, the intake down there. So there's your PCV valve, and then you have this other line right here that you need to hook up as well. Like I was talking about before, those chambers that make it more silent, that's a couple of them right there. That is, uh, they're called resonance chambers, I believe. So this is the MAF sensor. This is the mass airflow sensor, and that needs to be taken out. And so to do this, you do need to remove your negative side battery cable over there. Um, otherwise, you could pull a code. So um, we just need to take that off real quick, and then we'll get started um, taking this thing out. It's very simple. You pop these three tabs. That pulls out. You can pull this little red tab down here. There you go, if you guys can see it. Sorry about the camera here. All right, guys. What I'm going to do with the, with the box here the housing for the new filter. These little tabs right here go into these slots where you pulled out the other 
the other housing. So that just slides in there. Like so. There you go. Now you're gonna use two of your retaining clips. There's one right there. And then your other one is going right over here. So now that is held in by that. I'll show the retaining clips over okay. there. There's your retaining clips right there. You're going to use those. This one has plastic ones. The uh, 2011, like I have, has metal ones. Um, and they, uh, they work exactly the same way. You want to take off the center one. There's no spot for it. So just pop that off with a screwdriver or something like that and uh, hold on to that for another time. So there's those slots that it all fits in. And then, like I said before, the hood is actually going to come down. And this follows the body line of it. And it's gonna seal that in there. So, all right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up to the, the intake manifold, I believe, right here. Sorry guys, I am not a Ford expert. Um, all I know is how to put these on, so. All right. Hold that, please. Have my dad help me out. This is his crap. Slide that on here. And you want to slide that in there as well. Okay. Make sure that that is on there properly. Everything's nice and sealed there. Go around the bottom. And then we can just tighten down our clamp here. Does make it really easy if you have like a uh, little socket screwdriver. Works a lot easier than a than a flathead, especially because you already have one hand holding this, trying to put pressure on it to hold it in. So. Sorry, guys. There's that, then we need to hook up this line here. All you want to do is just slide that in. And then your PCV valve, you're actually going to kind of bend a little bit, just the line. You want that to line up straight. You want to hear that snap. Do you guys hear that little snap that's right there? And I'm going to do it one more time here. So you get that PCV valve, uh, v valve line out, you just flip this little tab over and up then you can just slide that back out okay you want to hear a positive click when you're putting that back in you hear that all right so that means that is in that is sealed that's ready to go it does help if your engine's a little warm it makes this line a little bit more flexible um, otherwise if it's cold it is kind of a pain in the butt to kind of bend around so Right. We're gonna get this line right here, this gasket. Just down here. Make sure that it's fitting in nice and tight. all tied up there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to take off the mass airflow sensor from the other unit. So taking the mass airflow sensor out of the old housing is actually pretty simple. You just need to remove the two uh, Torx screws. There's a Torx head screw right there. And it looks to be a different thread pattern than the Phillips head that comes with the Spectre unit. Sorry if the video is not wanting to focus on this little guy. But it is a different thread pattern, so use the Phillips head that comes with the Spectre unit. Once you have those two screws out, there's one here and one here. 
Just go ahead and pull the unit out. Be careful not to mess up that little wire right there, because that is what uh, what this whole unit is basically. It's that little tiny thing. So, all right. Now to take it over to this, you just put it in the same way that you pulled it out. Sorry, it's a little hard to do this with holding a camera as well. You just slide that in, just like that. And you put your two screws in, one there and one there. And then that, uh, that's it. You can uh, just plug this back in. Once you have that screwed back in, it's pretty simple. And then push that little red retaining clip back in. And there's your mass airflow sensor. That's put back in. We have finished installing the Spectre air intake. It's very pretty. My dad just finished putting on the negative battery cable, so let's start this sucker up. Dad, can you please hold that? Yep. As you guys can tell, it didn't do a whole bunch for the idle. And this is one thing I really like about this unit. You can hear it. It is just sucking in air though. All right, so let's get this thing on the road and we will show you guys what the sound difference is. So here we go. I'm gonna do the first takeoff here as soon as we get some clear traffic. Sorry, it's taking a little while, guys. And as you guys can hear, it's much throatier. Very much so. All right, here we go. I'm gonna punch it right up here. That was my dad. He's apparently surprised at the uh, power, the sound, and the power. So I think that was pretty successful. That really makes a difference, guys. And if you notice, I'm hitting the gas right now. I'm maintaining a speed. Of, it looks like 35. Okay. You don't hear that type of sound that you would get from a muffler. It's only when you step on it. See? And so that's nice if you want your engine to sound like a beast, but only when you step on the gas. So, all right, guys, this is Ryan from Random Reviews. Uh, you guys have a good day.